Okay, this is the video blog for Project 9, and I am answering questions about the book and the pages we had to read. So, starting off with question 1, do I think that art increases value as it shows its history? Um, I mean, it. I guess in... If you look at it right now and how people are viewing things in museums, yeah, that is how it's shown. I mean, the more faded something is, or the older it is, the more value it has and the more interesting it can be. But personally, I think that art is most appreciated when like, it's in its original condition because I feel that's how the artist would want to show it as. They wouldn't want to show it as something that's been torn up or stolen or... <sighs> anything else just warped from the condition it was once in I think brand new is the way it should be but um number two Eva and Franco basically think that um the original piece is overrated to say the least and just going off the book I guess they say that um what someone sees in a museum is just one of like the infinite aspects of the works and how it's just been taken over time and warped from the museum. Um, so that's that. And number three, going to Dark Old Neighbors art. Um, very gruesome. I wasn't too excited to look at it, but basically. It is mannequins. I actually didn't know that at first. I thought it was real people. But reading it, I found out it was mannequins. And they were placed around apartment buildings in different areas. And it was his way of showing his art. That's what he thought art was. And that was his way of connecting to reality and the art world. And how he feels that in some ways it has been disconnected. So that was his way of reconnecting back. And it really opened people's eyes. And it definitely opened my eyes. And I think it actually be very interesting to see. I mean, I wouldn't mind. I mean, I guess it'd be kind of weird at first, but hey, you know, whatever. Um, number four, the fake plaque. Um, well, I guess that was just placed on a building and it said, um, something along the lines of the original building and I guess some people took it to harm, but I don't really see how you can. They're basically trying to say that some of the buildings surrounding it weren't that great and in no way was it trying to degrade anything or the structures of the building that was just like they said it means what it says and that's it point blank um, the main themes for number five um, of it's always six o'clock another very interesting <laughs> chapter the main themes for It's Always Six O'Clock were basically taking different characters from Disney and kind of just cartoon characters that I guess I grew up watching and I was wanting to be around. So, um, But the main theme of it all was how culture can basically fade away and dies when it's constantly stuck in that same cliche that it always will be in and so it's the character is almost breaking away and doing something different not what they're what they were made into like these innocent little characters instead it's taking them into you know to something else into I guess more of how I don't want to say society because society is not screwed up but in a way I guess it can be I guess that's what it's saying how society would warp these characters and how they really would act if they weren't placed in this certain position that they were created to be. Okay, and lastly, number six. Um, what do Matt's have to say about America and Hollywood and the production of their fake movie, United We Stand? Um... I don't really know how they took it. I know that when they were creating it, they were pretty fixed on the idea that 
it was going to go somewhere and it would be amazing and that it would open so many people's minds and blow them away. Like they could get away with it so easily and it would be almost like almost too easy because of just the way they can take friends and make them into actors and getting all these thousands of people to get into it and soon enough it would be out in the open for everyone to see. Um, I guess that is all I have for that question. And that is the end of it. So, goodbye.